So for this problem, we're just using, going to use some analysis of functions to find the equation um, that results in what this one will look like. First off, we can see here that we have a um, point here at the origin. So uh, that's going to be our first test to see what these are. So uh, e to the 0 is going to be 1. Cosine to the 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. It does not hit here at 2, so it cannot be a. Um, this one has cosine of 0 is 1. e to the 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. That one looks to be correct. Here we have a sine of 0 is 0. e to the negative or e to the 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. That one can't be it. Uh, e to the 0 is 1 minus uh, e to the 0 is 1. That one works. And this one gives us 1 plus 1, um, which is 2. So that one cannot be it. So the question is between B and D, which one is it? Um, D has this graph that looks like this. We have uh, e to the x looks like this one. And e to the negative x looks like this one. Um, they have the same shape on both sides. So when you subtract them, they're going to be kind of somewhat similar, um, but there's not this waviness to it. Um, that waviness, because e to the x goes down close to zero here, that means as you go to the left side of the graph, cosine of x is going to be much more uh, influential on the graph's behavior than e to the x is. On the right-hand side, e to the x shoots up to infinity very quickly, so cosine is not going to be able to do much. That's why you have this, this um, pretty much exponential look on this side. We have a minus e to the x, so you expect it to go down to negative infinity. And on this side of the graph, we have more of this sinusoidal behavior. It's going to be more and more like cosine as you go further and further out. So b is our answer.